Before I begin, I'd like to thank the League High 7 Asterix franchises for joining us this season uh, for their part in making PHL 8 the biggest season in Penthouse League history. Andre Hammer, Landon, Matt, John, Snakes, and Stone. I have one big piece of news to announce and a few smaller things to talk about. Unfortunately, the big news is that the lower body injury sustained by Las Vegas Joker starter Stone Pinchuk has been reevaluated and downgrading him to a several week recovery time that will force him to drop out of PHL 8. Implications on PHL 8 are that since Las Vegas only played three of their eight games, which was not a majority, uh, the games they've already played against Albuquerque, Howell, and Seattle will not count towards the standings, and points scored or conceded in those games by Howell, Albuquerque, and Seattle will not be used to determine tiebreakers. Uh, Las Vegas will also not be charged with forfeits for the five remaining games on their schedule. Those games against Albuquerque and Howell and Seattle, since they did happen, statistics compiled during those games will count towards individual season and career statistics, however. Uh, the playoff format will remain unchanged, with the four seed hosting the five seed in a one game wild card, with the winner playing the one seed in a best of three semifinal, the two and three seed playing the other best of three semifinal, and the winners playing the best of five Infinity Cup final. Uh, the only change with Las Vegas' is dropout is the elimination of the last place game between the two teams that missed the playoffs. Uh, Stone Pinchuk is looking to remain an active member of the PHO and has informed the league that he is actively seeking a role as head coach of a current team. Pinchuk is fielding offers with an announcement likely to come prior to Sunday's games. Moving forward with the other points of discussion uh, regarding the state of the PHO. PHO 8, the current season, will be the last season played in the current format. Uh, what I mean by that is it will be the last season with a long 20-25 game regular season, followed by about 10 playoff games, maybe an all-star game. This is due to the impending graduation and therefore relocation of several active players. Future PHL seasons will likely be organized as one day or one weekend uh, tournaments with a much shorter regular season and truncated playoff bracket. Of course, specifics of these can't really be known until it's clear who and how many teams will be playing in a particular season. Uh, a byproduct of this is that there will be new designations for historic PHL seasons. Um, as of right now, PHL 1 is considered the dead ball era, with PHL 2 to the present being considered the modern era. PHL 8 will be the last season of the modern era. In addition, the term classic era will now be used to refer to the dead ball era and modern era in aggregate, in other words, PHL 1 to PHL 8. The name for the future era of PHL beginning with PHL 9 uh, has not yet been decided, but a couple options are being discussed behind the scenes. Um, on another note, the league hopes to have exhibition games in the future um, as a medium where we can toy with the game in a way that isn't really possible during administered seasons. These may be games uh, between retired players, other PHL staff, or anything else we can think of. Uh, with these pieces of news in mind, the league office remains optimistic about the future of the game both on and off the court.